Good afternoon. I'm Pastor Mike. Our devotion this week is titled Your Travel Guide. I want to begin with a reading from Psalm 119 verses 1 through 5. Blessed are those whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. They do nothing wrong, but follow his ways. You have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed. Oh, that my ways were steadfast in obeying your decrees. When you travel to an unknown region, whether domestically or internationally, it can be helpful to get a tour guide. I, I definitely would agree with this. When I was in high school, uh, I was afforded the opportunity to travel to Bermuda on a cruise ship. And I remember we had a tour guide that helped us out uh, and navigated us through the region, informing us of the history that surrounded us. And by doing so, um, our tour guide gave us context of the, the current state of affairs and helped us, helped us to focus on our attention of what was important for us to see and do during our time uh, of our vacation. You know, in a similar way, the Word of God is a guide for our life because it is inspired. It is God's very breath of life. And as such, it can speak into our lives and show us what is important and where to focus our attention as we travel through life. God's Word can speak into our lives. Listen listen to this, and I, 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 I so resonate with Psalm 119, 105. It states that God's Word is a lamp which lights the path of our feet that should walk. God's Word also says in Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. The question for us today is this, is the word of God a guide for your life? See, the idea here isn't simply the direction we're physically he headed, uh, but rather the way in which we live our lives. This is our devotion today. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Take care. And God bless.